how's it going? Thank you for coming to my page. And if you saw my introduction video, you saw how much I stress the work-life balance. A lot of us work nine to five jobs and it's important for us to have some sort of hobby outside of work to keep us sane on those stressful days. I've been there. I know you're, I'm not the only one. I know you're not the only one. We've all been through it. I highly suggest picking up an extracurricular, whether that's learning how to cook, getting into fitness, reading a book, or any sort of activity. For me, it's sports, fitness, and snowboarding. And that's what I'm gonna be discussing today. Snowboarding is a great extracurricular, and it's something that's near and dear to me for the last 15 years that I've been doing it. I'm not a professional. I'm still learning, I'm still progressing. That's what this page is about, is progression. And I hope one day that I can get the confidence to be able to do certain things that I have my mind uh, geared towards. Um, one of those things is this season, I wanted to get comfortable riding Switch. I'm gonna be going over some of the gear that I have been using and continue to use, and hope that this video kind of gives a spark to anyone who's thinking about snowboarding to just get up, go up to the mountain and try it once. I encourage anyone to try it at least once. There's no better feeling. And I mean, I, I'm excited just talking about it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my snowboards. I currently have a beginner intermediate board, a more intermediate advanced board, and also a powder board. The beginner intermediate board is actually a newer board for me. It's a Capita Outer Space Living. And then I love the graphics towards it. it has some type of uh, biological warfare, outer space type stuff. And the reason why I decided to get it was on the reviews that I read, it was a very good board to learn how to ride switch. It's a multi, it's a twin direction, which is symmetric on both the tail and the nose. And it's one of those things where I wanted to learn how to ride switch and learn the quickest, fastest, and safest way. And based off the flexibility, which is another uh, spec that the snowboards have is flex. It's on the looser end, which will allow me to transition in those turns to make it a little bit more comfortable for me when I'm um, turning on goofy side versus my natural stance, which is regular. It's a really good board. They say it's perfect for beginners to intermediate, even advanced, and it's good for all around riding. The next board is my favorite. I'm a big Travis Rice fan, and the next two boards are related to him. This is the Travis Rice Pro from two seasons ago. Uh, I love the graphics. It has that uh, old Western feel vibe going on. And for anyone who doesn't know, Travis Rice is an amazing writer. He charges hard. He doesn't know when to stop. And he has such a good outlook on life. And it's something that I look up to anyone who doesn't know who he is. I highly encourage you to check him out and just um, learn more about him and what he stands for. And uh, another board is the powder board that he uses is the Travis Rice Orca. This is a, a newer end board. This is last season's. And as the name suggests, it's designed to encompass the Orca killer well. And he also, um, Travis Rice did get in part with the organization for Orca Conservatory and it's a really good cause. And the reason why I got the Travis Rice Pro and the Travis Rice Orca is mainly it's a reverse um, hybrid. So on the Capita, you have a camber, which goes like this between the feet and then on the tail and the nose, it goes reverse. With the Travis Rice Orca and the Pro, it's reverse. So you actually have a rocker in between, and then you have camber underneath the feet. So it gives you more of that aggressive control when you're going into your turns. And uh, for me, I, I love the boards, uh, especially with the Travis Rice Orca on powder runs. It's an amazing board. And from what I heard this season, they've actually changed it to where it's a little bit heavier and it's uh, more playful. 
I haven't written it, but if anybody's out there, just comment below and see and tell me how, how you enjoy it. Uh, next up are the bindings. Uh, from what you saw in the Travis Rice Pro, I ride the Union Atlas. They're a little bit stiffer than what I thought when I initially got them. They're still a great binding, but I would probably say it's more on the advanced side. Uh, new bindings that I just picked up are the Union Stratus. I really love these bindings. It has an earthy tone and they're gonna be going onto the Capita uh, Outer Space Living. And they're a little bit more playful than the Union Atlas. It's more for park riding and that's another goal of mine to progress in whether it's this season or next, um, one step at a time, as I like to stress to myself, uh, there's no rush, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. But once I ride those, I probably might give another review on those. Not really good at the specs. I just wanted to go over briefly what I am riding and some of the gear that I use. The next um, are the boots. So these ones are a little dated. Um, these are the Vans Aura Pros. They're a great all-around boot. And I think I got them a one size too big. Uh, one thing for newcomer snowboarders is you wanna make sure you get boots that are snug, but not too tight. Uh, the perfect analogy from someone in the board shop told me you want it to fit like a glove. Uh, once these boots do um, reach its expiration date, uh, wear and tear. I do plan on getting new boots and um, I'll let you know on the next update gear list for probably next season or the season after. They're starting to wear and they've only had about 10 days worth, no actually 15 days worth of riding, so getting up there. Uh, the next thing are my goggles. These are the Anon M4s, they're the they're Burton's uh, subsidiary, Anon Optics, and these are on the newer side. And the reason why I like these is because they actually have a magnetic um, technology to it, so it's easier to just clamp them and take them off when you're on the slope. Very, easy, very easily accessible if you need to change the lenses. Um, when you do gain a little bit more uh, knowledge with snowboarding. Uh, the lenses do come with different UV protections and also uh, portrays um, different lighting. So you'll have a different lens for sunny days, cloudy days. Um, there's a hybrid day for both cloudy and sunny. And then there's the clear for um, if it's snowing too hard or uh, night riding. And then um, some of the, just these gloves are the Volcom Gore-Tex. Um, one of the things I noticed, these are last seasons, was that they didn't actually have a wrist protector. What's nice about having a wrist protector is that you can take the gloves off during when you're on the lift to get, you know, warm your hands up or if you have to take out your phone or something like that. I noticed on the newer end gloves when I was in the shop that they have them. I don't know if it's because it was a higher end glove or not, but um, comment down below if you have Volcom gloves uh, this season and let me know if they have the, the wrist guards as well. So that will be it on the gear that I used to ride. And you know, one of the things that I stressed yesterday on my introduction video or, you know, in the past, depending on when you watch it is don't be afraid to do anything. Uh, if there's anything that you think about wanting to do, get up and do it. I mean, what do you have to lose? You know, uh, fear is instilled into us. It's nothing that we create. We can allow it to drag us, but it's always, it's instilled in all of us. It's a matter of who's willing to put in the effort to get over that fear. And snowboarding for me was something that I never thought I would do, just like anything that you know I decided to pick up. But once you, once I got into it, I, I, I fell in love. And that's what I hope out of this channel, that you just find something that clicks for you, keep at it, and you'll be surprised 
how happy you are when you find something and you just want to keep getting better at it. Um, the things that I enjoy, I always want to continue doing better. And it's kind of like a self pride knowing that I can be successful. Even if people say I can't do it. Um, you're always going to have doubters. You're always going to have haters, but as long as you stick to your, uh, true to yourself, and ignore the outside noise, anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. And I just wanna stress that. I really hope that the future videos do connect with my viewers and give them hope and belief that anything is possible. And this is one of the hobbies that I do. Uh, this video is to just show what I have and if you have any questions, just please comment down below and I'll be more than willing to answer. And I just want this page to have fun and allow you to maybe find something that you want to do. Um, we're going to have fun and I hope you like this video. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell if you want to get alerts for future videos. And till next time, hope the Progression Warriors keep doing what you do and one day at a time. Thank you. Have fun. Bye.